So with the PMI table, as I mentioned, you can use the ribbon bar to create those or a reuse library that uh, you've set up and just drag and drop. But um, I also wanna talk about some of the preferences for PMI. Um, those are based off of your drafting uh, um, configurations that you set up. So typically when you start a new file, you're gonna go to uh, model, or I'm sorry, file new and select your, your model template. That's not gonna have your drafting standards in it. Your drafting file is gonna have those standards in it. So your administrator will probably have to open up that model file and apply all those drafting standards to that uh, model template. Um, in some cases, if you're working in native, I, I suggest uh, if, if you don't have an administrator that has time to, to work on those. As a user, I would uh, open up that model template and then go over to menu, preferences and while I'm in the 3D environment, select the drafting um, module, open up whatever the uh, tree is that you're looking for and modify your, your text height, the font style, um, maybe your arrow tips, the colors, you can change all those. Uh, and even if you want uh, commas as opposed to periods, you can, you can place those in there too. So again, you have to uh, set that up and then save that as your, your start file. So instead of going file, new model, you would go file open and select that uh, seed file. And as an administrator, probably the easiest way to fix that issue is to um, go ahead and open up your drafting template, go over to the 3D application, and then just modify the modeling um, uh, preferences that you had in your model template. It's probably a, a lot shorter of a list than it is drafting. So as an administrator, that's probably the, the thing I would probably do as opposed to uh, going through hundreds of different uh, settings that you can set up. And then once you're done with this model-based definition, all your um, dimensions, your GD&Ts on there, maybe your weld symbols, tables, any sort of uh, bill of materials you have in it, you can go ahead and export that out as a JT file. And what that means is as a downstream user, maybe you have a salesperson that doesn't have access to Team Center that's uh, controlling that PLM uh, information, you can uh, go out to Siemens website and download JT number two, go, it's free. You can put it on any Windows operating system. And then you can go ahead and send them that JT file that contains the PMI information. They can spin it around, they can look at PMI information, they can even take dimensions off of that model to uh, just verify that the dimensions were correct. They can't save back into that file, but at least it gives them an opportunity to look at those models and, and quote it out for you. So again, that's JD to go, go out to Siemens website and download it. Otherwise you probably use a um, 3D uh, PDF reader uh, from Adobe that can do the same thing. All right, so just opening NX. As you can see, uh, I, got, I have some uh, PMI information already built into the section. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and just create a table. And creating tables is essentially um, like using an Excel spreadsheet. So you can go ahead and modify the column row heights, widths, um, even the rows, you can change those. Merge cells. And I'm just clicking in a cell and typing in some information that I wanna show up in my table. And this, it's uh, pretty pretty easy to work with once you, you start playing with it at first. It, it may feel a little clunky and cumbersome, but um, it's easy to work with once you, you do a few of them. So I went ahead and just modified the uh, text because I didn't have it set up in my preferences. And just putting in uh, some more information for this uh, simple um, table. I could even add in uh, GD&T, so right mouse button in the cell and edit the text. And then instead of hitting drafting for my category, I'm gonna select gd &T and then pick my A datum to enter into that cell. So it's, uh, it's, it's pre pretty simple to uh, work with. Um, with PMI, you can add tables, notes, uh, your datum feature symbols, uh, datum targets, if you have those that you need to place in the model, surface finish, um, any sort of weld symbols or balloons. And if you even have custom, um, Symbols like uh, I had a customer that used Squircle, which is basically a circle inside of a square, and that's what they called it. So I had to build them a um, template for that symbol. And then I can also attach attributes 
from a part. So since I have a part open, it's not an assembly. We go to relations. Instead of object, that's your assembly. I want to select part and I'll select the value for uh, brake rotor there. And I should have typed that in caps, but for demo, that's that's linked to the attribute. And I would just type retype the attribute if I wanted to change that. Um, again, I can go back in and edit the settings just clicking on the cell. All the different types of options inside of there that I can uh, configure to. Again, with the cell uh, table itself, I can edit using a spreadsheet, and that's an embedded Excel spreadsheet. I can go ahead and click that on for parallel to the screen, so whenever I rotate it, it's parallel to the screen, and then I can go ahead and save it off as a template into its own library that I can use over and over again. And over in the uh, views, you can see I still have the same options there. So I'll go ahead and uh, bring in a table that I've created in a library, just drag and drop it in. None of this is live. It's all been typed in manually, but I could have set that up to um, look at different rotor specifications that I set up. 